I was fighting some demons in the field, bitch. I'm deep in. I was Hey guys, this is your girl, Gorgeously Real. Welcome back to Gorgeously Real TV. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, like button, and of course, leave your comment. And if you've been here for a while, then just continue rocking with me. I don't really know how to put this video together, so don't like, don't chop my head off, whatever. And don't shoot the messenger. But I've been thinking about, you know, Kanika a lot lately. And I did, a, I have a live by Kenneth Tart, which is the guy who was like, yeah, we lifted her soul. Oh, crack baby. I'm um, sorry. See, going off on a tangent again. But um, yesterday was not so friendly to me. So today I'm going to give you guys a lot of videos, possibly three. Don't quote me, but possibly three. Okay, because everything that happened, yes, it was just a bit too much. But let's keep this on Kanika, all right? All right, so I went to Kenneth Tart's Facebook page, and there was a live. So I looked at the live, right? Right, like we all do. I feel like all of us are stalking these people, for real, for real. Because we're not getting no answers about our baby girl, Kanika. And until you give us these answers, we not stopping, okay? And I don't get paid right now. My channel is not monetized. So don't come at me saying that I'm doing anything to get clout off of Kanika or money for doing my videos about Kanika. Because it will never be that type of situation. Um, unlike these other YouTubers who are just dissecting the same freaking footage over and over and you're not getting us nowhere. We've been doing this for two years now, people. Two years and we still have nothing. That is a problem. Okay? So, like I said, I got on Facebook, went to Kenneth Tart's page, right? Because I was curious. I'm like, okay, what is he up to, Mr. We Lifted Our Soul? What is he up to? What is he doing? Is he in jail? Is he not in jail? I wanted to know. So, I found out. Of course, like, I think women are the best freaking detectives and investigators in the world. We are. You can't take it back because y'all men can't, you know, we, we're good with snooping. Uh, that's my little sister. My bad. Don't know what the heck she was going through that day. Um, let me find it. I have some cute photos. BTW, the guy that you see, that's not my boyfriend. Don't go jumping to conclusions and everything and assuming stuff. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right? Um, where did I put the video or where did the video put itself? Here we go. Here we go. We're getting somewhere. Now, I don't know if this video will be taken down because of the the um the content is about I'm about to show you. I will hope it does not get taken down. I see way more graphic things on YouTube and they take stuff down for the dumbest reasons. Like my video that had Sukihana and Chaotic, whom I do chat with here and there. Chaotic, not Su not Suki. Chaotic. Who we have our little Instagram conversations here and there. And um YouTube took my video down of them in the elevator like I don't know what the heck I guess they were fighting I screen recorded it put it on YouTube and they took my video down saying it showed violence and I was not following the guidelines maybe if you didn't change your guidelines every freaking two days I wouldn't know what to do but y'all sitting here got lovely peaches and go look this heifer up real quick lovely peaches got on Sky Jackson's live and showed her vagina. And you didn't take that off of YouTube. So why are you censoring me? Why are you censoring that? That's the most violent of anything that you've ever seen on my channel. I don't do things like that. But I thought it was funny, so I shared it. But obviously, YouTube wasn't having it, so they took it down. So I don't know if this is going to be taken down or not, I will save this video. It gets automatically saved when I use DU Screen Recorder. So that's why I use it a lot for my videos. 
because if it gets deleted on YouTube, I still have it in my files. But um, here in this live, I'm going to play the live. I don't know. I don't even know if I got the volume up on the live. I don't remember. I recorded this maybe a week, two weeks ago because I didn't know what to say. Didn't know how to start it off. But since everyone is saying that the um, Kanika's autopsy report is false, I'm like, okay, so how do we know that she was really drugged with Topamax? What if she was drugged with like ecstasy or some other type of drug that mind altering drugs that could have thrown her off like that because it had her off her game. And I used to have, um, I used to be on a seizure medication because I had a seizure in April of 2017 after I came out of a five-day coma. And um, three weeks later is when I had that seizure, which I contributed to the fact that you guys were drugging the hell out of me while I was in a coma. And so when I went home, you possibly didn't even expect me to wake up. So that's why you're giving me all that stuff because you really didn't know. They didn't know what was wrong. They didn't know if the sickle cell had caused it. They were saying that maybe my body was just in so much pain that it shut itself down to protect itself. And that was when they found me unresponsive. And I was in that coma, like I said, four or five days. And then I woke up. Thank God for that, right? Thank God for that. Um, so, I, like I said, I contributed to the fact that maybe they had given me so much stuff, my body was withdrawing from it. I went home, like, Right after, two days after waking up, I went home. So it's possible that, you know, my body was withdrawing from those drugs and I had a seizure. It happens, okay? It happens. So I'm just like, when I was on that seizure medication, the only thing I wanted to do was freaking sleep. That's it. It knocked me out. That's all. That is it. That is all. So my, I'm trying to understand with them saying that she had been drugged with seizure medication, it would have made her sleepy. I've never heard of Topamax making someone act the way or behave the way that I saw Kanika behaving that night. That was more of a ecstasy. I've never done ecstasy, so don't. I've never done any drug. I've never had alcohol. Aside from my pain medication, never had any other type of drugs, like illegal drugs. I've never been that type of person, never had alcohol, none of that. So I'm not saying that, you know, I know what ecstasy feels like. I'm saying the way she was walking, her behavior, all of that, it seemed like it was, it could have been the drug ecstasy. It could have been. And, um... Irene was, you know, high. She even admitted in Zach's video for uh, Zach TV that she was, you know, on ecstasy and she had popped some pills or whatever. So what if Kanika was drugged with that? Since we can't trust nothing they're saying about Kanika and what happened to Kanika, why are we trusting that baby girl took a freaking or they gave her a seizure pill, dropped a seizure pill in her Hennessy? Why are we believing that if everyone keeps saying, like, the things that they are saying, that the autopsy's fake, you know, that's not what, you know, it's no way she could have died that way. It wasn't an accident. We know it wasn't an accident. We know baby girl was beat the hell up, raped, and put in that freezer. We know Kanika didn't walk into that freezer. We're not stupid. So why my thing is, why are we believing that Kanika... That Kanika had a seizure pill put in her Hennessy. Why would it not be ecstasy? You know what I'm saying? Maybe these guys, they knew she was not having it. Kanika was not about to be busting it open the way Manifa and all the mothers was about to do. She was, she was, if she wasn't game for it. She was not game. So who's to say that they didn't drop that in her drink thinking that it would make her loosen up a bit more so they could get what they wanted? They still got what they wanted either way. But my thing is, what if that's the case? Because if we're not believing nothing about this case, then we can't be believing this BS about some seizure medicine. We can't do that. 
So like I said in this video, I'm about to show you Mr. K Mr. Kenneth Tart and how he really gets down. All right. So I'm going to shut up for a minute and um, I'm going to play this video. Ooh, my bad, y'all. I heard that static in the beginning. That was my fault. Look at him. Look at him. I mean, you didn't love bro. <laughs> Shut up. That's so weird to see both of my D recorders up at the same time. They just over here. Y'all not finna give me no copyright because I don't know whose songs that is. So I'm gonna be talking over this music. I'm going to be talking over it. You are not about to get me no copyright. I don't even listen to that ratchet stuff that you're listening to right now. Why your eyes look like that? Why your head look like that? Oh, my God. This is what you... What the fuck? This is what you women in Chicago like? Like, oh, my God. Give me a break. Give me a fucking break. For real. Now, I've dated Tay Sav. Tay Sav was cute, though. What is this? Oh, what is this? Boy, don't nobody care, but don't nobody care, but you got money to do all of that, but you ain't investing none. I bet you ain't investing none. You investing it to being hot overnight. Y'all hear this nigga? Y'all hear this? Let me cut it up. Oh, give me a break. I am so sorry, y'all, with me swiping all in the video and stuff. Swipe, swipe. <sighs> Can I shut up? He's like bragging that they smoked all of that, all of those um, joints in one night. Bet you did. I bet you did. Mm-hmm. Yep. Your supply. You heard what you said? When it's your own supply, you can do that shit. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Boy, put your shirt down. Ain't no girls over there. Ignorant. This what y'all do. Oh, my God. The static in the video. I am so sorry, y'all. Ooh, that's a whole lot of static. They not talking about nothing, y'all. Watch this. Wait, 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 wait. Watch how Kenneth looks at him, bro. Like, shut up. You see that? He trying to make sure he don't say nothing out, you know, I, like, dog, don't say nothing on this live that's going to get me in trouble. That was that type of look just then. My thing is, what if Kaneko was drugged with ecstasy? Why is nobody even bringing this up? I'm the first YouTuber to bring this up. And if you, oh my gosh, the static. What? I'm sorry, y'all. I am so sorry. You see this foolishness. That this is what I really wanted y'all to see was the the pills. So look at this. Y'all see these pills, right? Boy. Oh Lord. You can do that. Yeah. So that was that. That was that. That was that. Um yeah, man, I don't even understand. That was what I just kept thinking about. I'm just like, what if Kanika was drugged with ecstasy, you know, and them making an attempt to loosen her up to want to have sex because obviously Kanika wasn't going for it. She wasn't doing it. Y'all led baby girl there by saying that the guy she liked was there. Um, Who is the guy that she liked? Because... Some people are saying his name is Mike. Mike, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that is how they lured baby girl to that hotel because she was supposed to be going to the movies, right? So, and I also have some little, um, it's some posts and comments that I got from Ty Rollins' page that I think you guys would find interesting. But we're going to stay on Kenneth for right now. When I get to that part, I'll show you that part. But, um, this is, I don't get it, man. It's like, we are sitting here saying, I mean, every YouTuber is saying, oh, that autopsy, that's not right. All right, then. So, why you keep believing that this girl was drugged with a seizure medication? So, that's not right. Right? Right. 
Okay, so who supplied the pills? Because obviously y'all fools in Chicago is just running around with ecstasy pills, whatever else that was. I don't take drugs. So if y'all know exactly what all those pills were, leave it in the comment section because I have no clue. But when I saw it, I was like, just a light, a light bulb went off in my head. And I'm like, you know what? Let me record this because this is going to come in handy. And it's actually coming in handy. I didn't know how to do the video and start the video. So that's why I held on to the footage for so long because I didn't know what to do. And your girl has been going through it with pain, bro. Like ridiculous. So right now, even though I'm in a bona fide crisis, I'm sitting here forcing myself to do this video because of Kanika. And I just, we want truth. We all want truth. That's all we want. And I feel like the only people who will ever know the truth are Kanika, God, and the people that hurt Kanika. We are never going to know what actually happened to baby girl. All we could do is sit here and speculate. That's all we can do. But... I've seen no one attack the case from how I'm attacking it with as far as what if it was ecstasy? Could it have possibly been ecstasy or some type of other drug? Why are we still saying seizure medicine? Because I'm sitting here telling you as a person who used to be on seizure medicine that it's never had me like that. It had me, I was knocked out. I was sleepy. And I don't take it anymore because I didn't like the side effects, like all of that, the suicidal thoughts and all that stuff, the moods, changes. Like, I, I stopped taking it because they put me on that medication all from just one seizure. One, two years ago. One seizure. It wasn't like, well, no, I take that back. It was two seizures. Um, the first one was at my house. When I was in the kitchen, I was in the kitchen texting my ex-best friend and um, trying to fix something to eat. And then all of a sudden, I just freaking started feeling like I had control of nothing. I dropped my phone, of course, whatever else was in my hand. And we have towel in my house. So I fractured my left hip that I got replaced in 2014. So you know I had to fall very, very hard to break a titanium hip or to fracture a titanium hip. I had to fall very, very hard, okay? Um, so I just, I don't think that's what she was struck with. I don't think, I wasn't on Topamax per se. I was on um, Kepra, it's called Kepra. But like I said, the first seizure was at my house. And the second seizure was when they were um, putting me on a CT scan table, the CAT scan table. And I started having a seizure and they called my um, ER doctor who was over me at the time and he runs to me. They had to flip, you know, flip me on my side and hold my hand, all that stuff. It's scary. I would never wish to hit on nobody at all. So he brought the Ativan, which was put through the IV that stopped the seizure immediately. I don't, I just, I'm just trying to make a point here, y'all, that I don't think this is what Kanika was drugged with. She couldn't have been drugged with a seizure medication. I don't think she would have reacted like that. Now, if you've been on that medication, I would like for you to state in the comments how it made you feel and if you ever sat there and, hold up, bro. Regardless, that girl wasn't on no seizure medicine. I'm sorry, bro. All of that, like, how would that, even if I was, like, hella sleepy, why would I go, like, put yourself in her position? Why would, if you were on that medicine or if I were on that medicine, why would we go into a, a freezer and not know how to get out, right? It doesn't, this, it doesn't make you disoriented at all, like, where you don't know what's going on. It's no way, because you're going to know what's going on. You're still going to have, com you know, common sense. Like, hey, I'm in a freezer. Let me press this button. Get the hell up out of here. I don't think that's what baby girl was drugged with. And I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. And I don't think she walked in that freezer. I just don't. Like, what? Why are y'all doing this to us? Like, oh, the media, the media, the media. Oh, so annoying, bro. Like, y'all think we're stupid. 
We far from stupid. You better realize that God is waking his people up. It's going, it's starting to become a spiritual awakening. Everything that was done in the dark is starting to be exposed. I don't know what made me record that video. Something inside me told me to record it, so I did. I'm glad I did, and I'm hoping that y'all could see where I'm trying to go with this. Because I just don't believe it was a seizure medication that was put into her drink. Because at some point, there was people on YouTube like, Oh yeah, that sickle cell mother effer. That sickle cell mother effer had that seizure medicine. First of all, everybody who has sickle cell does not have a seizure, stupid. So you don't sit there and just take a whole freaking a whole disease that people are born with and sit there and say oh the sickle cell mother effer is who drugged her because you know what give me that guy's name the guy that y'all says has sickle cell and he was at that party if you know his name give me his name y'all I'm just dropping stuff knocking the dog on headphones out my own ear um give me his name the guy that, you know, everybody's like that sickle cell mother effer in the blue jacket. He did it. Because that sickle cell mother effer that you keep talking about, I ain't see him in that party. We saw one picture of that boy by a car. We never seen this boy during the party. So how did that sickle cell mother effer, how did he sit there and drug Kanika? Because I, I didn't see him at that party bro i did not see him in the party so y'all need to start stating facts on this case and stop stating opinions we have enough opinions it's not getting us nowhere everyone with sickle cell does not have and has not had a seizure that is not something that this disease comes with okay and i didn't and i didn't have a the freaking seizure because of my sickle cell i had it because i was withdrawing from all the drugs that i was given when i was in a coma it had nothing to do with the sickle cell so we're not going to do that because i have sickle cell i'm 30 years old and it pisses me off to see people talk about that disease because you don't know what we have to go through you just don't and what you're not going to do is sit there and put this stigma on everybody with sickle cell that we have seizures that's not for everybody all right and there are different types of sickle cell there is sc ss and you can go look up the rest of them on your own i'm not going to sit here and do your research for you all the time i have ss ss is the worst form of the sickle cell okay that's what i have people with sc they don't have they don't go through the constant they might not have a crisis as much as someone who has ss so with a person who has ss that may have had a stroke which i've had or a seizure which i've had doesn't mean those with sc have had those things happen to them that does not mean that everyone is different with how this disease affects them but the one thing we have in common is pain pain now I can tell you that that's the one thing that all is four types of sickle cell. I'm looking for y'all to tell me the other two types. I gave you two. Now go research and tell me the other two. But I'm just making a point that everyone with sickle cell does not have a seizure. So for you to sit there and say that that sickle cell mother Effa is who drugged her. I don't think that's cool. And I did check the person that said that. I checked her. I did. And if I could find that video of when I checked her, I put it in this video. But that was forever ago. But I know I checked her because I don't like that. We get judged enough. I get judged enough. All right. So now let's move on from Kenneth Tart. These are some posts that I found on Ty Rowland's page. I believe Ty Rowland is still in um, jail, right? Still in jail. Not sure what he's in jail for. But let me go to my, my screen shots. I believe it's in my screenshots. All right. I am so beautiful. Look, this is how my hair is right now, guys. You like it? This is my hair right now. Me and my mom did it. I think we did a great job. I really do. But anyway, let me find this this um 
stuff. Alright. Nope. That's about sickle cell. And the, the picture you see in the right hand corner with that doctor. I have a video coming up after this video. And I'm going to explain all that to you. Um, but here we go. Right here. Ty Rowland. He says. <clears throat> Really not understanding why y'all keep blaming and pointing fingers at me. What the F would I gain from doing any harm her? What, nigga? What? And what makes me so special to where the police wouldn't lock me up if I had anything to do with a death? You right there. F out of here. A lot of y'all really effing stupid and common sense is clearly not that common. Hmm. Says you. Where's your diploma? You want to do all this talking. I don't respond and reply and talk to y'all because I have no points to prove. And I don't give an F about what none of y'all say. So why are you saying something now, mister? It's a lot of y'all with way too much time on y'all hands creating your own, theor your own theories. What? You mean own theories? Ugh. And that... That ish is sad. I don't care about the threats or none of that ish. No matter how much any one of y'all try to label me, slander my name, assassinate my character, I'm going to be the same person. And then you got Michelle Hinton who says, please tell us what happened that night. Girl, he ain't going to tell you what happened that night, girl. He can't tell you if he wanted to. Why? Because he's in jail. And, um... That was me and uh, Jose's father. Don't mind that. Where's the other part? Oh, here we go. Someone named Raven Montgomery says, I'm not pointing fingers. Just one question, Ty Rowland. Do you think it was an accident? And he'd respond, not at all. And then Raven says, okay, that's all I wanted to know. Thank you. So here we have Ty Rowland saying, no, it's not no accident. No, she didn't walk in that freezer by accident. He's sitting here telling you she ain't walk in that freezer by accident, and he was at the party that night. See, I don't know much about Ty Rowland. All I know is what I know from the case, and, um, you know, it looked like he was one of the ringleaders. So, for him to be sitting here saying that no, it wasn't no accident, that provides even more clarity of what happened to Kanika. She did not walk into that freezer by herself, accidentally lock herself in and die. He just said this, like, come on, man. If you don't give Ty Rowland props for anything else, give him props for this. Because he sat there and he told you that it was not an accident. So if it was an accident, that means what? That it was intentional, correct? Sorry, had to hydrate. But, um, yeah, so that means it was intentional. Now, all he had to do was tell us who did it, and we would have been, bam, we would have had, I said bam, not the D word. Don't be getting my videos uh, flagged and stuff. We would have had answers to what happened to Kanika if all he did was tell the truth, but you know the whole no snitching, snitches get stitches thing, he wasn't finna rat nobody out. He wasn't, so that that's just not gonna happen. We've been waiting for two years for somebody to break down and tell the truth. Obviously, these people have some sick conscious, you know, they're sick because they can still go to bed even after what happened to Kanika. They can go to bed and sleep just fine. Baby girls in a grave, six feet under. They're in their bed. They get a chance to be in their beds. They get a chance to see their families. They get a chance to eat, to drink, to go out, to be on the phone. But they took all of that away from Kanika. She can't do that no more. Why? Because you killed her. That's why. You murdered her. And I'm not backing down. So I ain't none of these other YouTubers. Like I said, obviously I'm the only YouTuber and probably one of the first to say this, that baby girl was not drugged with 
a seizure medication, well, possibly ecstasy or some other mind-altering drug, and she probably didn't like how it felt. A lot of people can't handle stuff like that, just like a lot of people can't handle narcotics. They don't like how it makes them feel. But a person who has been on pain medication for a while, it don't bother them. They're used to it, or they have a tolerance to it to a certain degree. But this, it was not as I cannot know. If we're going to sit here and question this whole case and everything in it, we need to start questioning what she was drugged with. And I don't think it was no seizure medication. I already told you what I think. And now Ty Rowland says, no, it wasn't an accident, which we already knew that, right? Yeah, we did. So... I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I did not mean for it to be 31 minutes long. Um, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Leave a like on the video and share this video if you would like to. But I definitely want to reach a thousand subscribers. I am at 738 right now. So let's get this channel to a thousand subscribers and let's get this video out there let's make it go viral y'all need to get one of my videos to go viral because i done been in the game on youtube since 2012 but like i said i didn't start taking it serious to about a year ago so from a year till now i've made a whole lot of progress and i appreciate you guys thank you for your support i do everything from my phone um i don't have like a a camera like all these other YouTubers be doing. I do my I do everything on my phone. Everything. So, if you want to donate to the channel for me to get equipment, that's cool. If you want to donate to the channel towards sickle cell awareness, that's cool. You can do that by going to my Cash App. My Cash App is gorgeously real. Um I do have a PayPal, but you will have to go under my real name to find that one, which is Kiara Owens, uh, K-I-A-R-A. But I mainly use Cash App. So like I said, and you do not have to donate. You don't. It's not something that you are forced to do because I became a YouTuber on my own. But when I started noticing that other YouTubers get donations, I'm like, okay, well, let me set up a cash app and see, you know, if my supporters want to donate to me. I don't know if I've seen any of my supporters donate yet. So I would have to say I haven't received any donations because that's the honest to God truth. But I do use cash app. And if you do send a donation Whatever amount you want to send, I don't care if it's $5, whatever amount you want to send, send. Even if it's a dollar, like, I can't tell you what to do with your money. What you do with your money is what you want to do with your money. You don't have, if there is no, oh, I ain't making no more content until y'all donate to me. No, I don't, I don't run my channel like that. If you want to donate, cool. If you don't cool then just watch the video leave it a thumbs up and comment so i would love to see more comments of course and definitely please don't forget to like the video because that's what's going to show youtube that i'm actually good at this thing because they're already liking my personality and everything but i still have to prove myself through their requirements because y'all these other youtubers and these people have made it so hard for us to get monetized i think you need like a thousand uh four thousand of watch time and i'm not sure how many subscribers but four thousand watch time i'm only at i went from two thousand to 1.5 and i guess that's because y'all needed some new videos to watch I don't know, but y'all can still go back to my older videos and watch those and leave likes and comments on those too. You don't have to just support the newer videos. Support them as a whole, all right? Because I like doing this. I really do. It's something that I like to do. And I do feel like I have the personality and like I'm built for it. I do feel that way. Um, just like they, like YouTube told me. 
when I hit 500 subscribers is when they started to put their attention like, oh, wow, okay, we have something here. Now I'm at 738 subscribers from the last time I checked. I want to say thank you to all that have been subscribed for the longest, who have been patient with me and gave me time to figure out what I wanted to do. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I got to start writing you guys' names down so that I can start shouting you out in the video. Um, but I do have a lot of this week alone. I think about five, six people subscribed. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. And I really need you guys to like the video. Make sure you always leave a like. I'm not sure why that's so important. But obviously, when it comes to YouTube, it is very important. So please like the video. Let's get this video to 200 plus views. I don't really have any high expectations. Let's just get this, this stuff out there. Let's get this channel to the top where it should be. Because we need some realistic YouTubers. All of that fake stuff, it's getting on my nerves. We need some real YouTubers. Like, once they get famous, it seems like they just forget about where they really came from and how much they had to grind to get to the top. And I'm not going to be that type of YouTuber. When I get to the top, I'm going to still remain just like this. You're not going to have any changes. I've told you that before. And my word is my bond. I don't believe in, you know, breaking my word. So, like I said, like the video. And the picture that I just made a mistake and went to, we will get to that. We definitely, definitely... We will definitely get to that. Because, y'all, the thing that happened yesterday... Where's my um, picture? I better not have deleted it. The thing that happened yesterday... Um, just really... Oh, my gosh. Like, when I tell y'all about it, y'all are gonna be like, What? Are you serious? They're back at it again? Yeah, they're back at it again. But we'll discuss that in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your support. Like I said, I'm going to mention it again. Leave a like and a comment. Subscribe to this channel. Tap that notification bell so that when I upload, you'll be the first to get, you'll be the first to be notified. That's why it says tap that notification bell. Notification, notified. Get it? Yeah. And then share this video. If you like everything that was in here, you feel like I'm onto something, share this video. But don't y'all dare let these other YouTubers steal my material and say that they thought of this first. Because they didn't. They didn't. I'm the first to say this. And I done watched every Kanika video there is since she passed away. So, since two years ago. Every video that has been made about Kanika, I've watched there isn't one that I haven't watched because this girl's case has touched the whole nation, the world. Everyone really just wants to know what happened to Kanika so that this baby could be at peace. That's all we want to know. Just give us the truth. And someone needs to pay for this. She needs justice. You murdered her. You know you murdered her. And I pray that God works on your conscience for you to come come to the light and tell the truth tell the truth that's all we want we i mean it's been two years you've gotten away with it long enough it's time for kanika to get her justice all right and i know i'm not the only one who feels that way so i'm gonna go get this video ready so i can upload it for you guys and then i'll you know start working on the other video that i was talking about so thank you so much for your support like comment subscribe and share all that good stuff bye guys